If you've been following the Kylie Rodney case, then the biggest question is whether this was a tragic drunk driving accident, or whether foul play was involved, which can include a cover-up. I'm not convinced we will get all the answers though. This case was handled very poorly thus far. Let's take a moment and see how plausible the accident theory, with no foul play is. If this footage is in fact of Kylie's car entering the water, and there was no one else, but Kylie driving, then she would have left the party, took the wrong road, and drove straight into the water. It was dark, and her window was open. As soon as Kylie drives into the water, due to the open window, water would be gushing in fast. The car would nose dive, since the heaviest part which is the engine would sink first. The car would have sank pretty fast, in a matter of seconds. That is not a lot of time to react at all. When the car hit the water and started sinking, did Kylie panic and rush to the back of the car, while the front was going down? Was she trying to open the hatch to get out? That is one of my main concerns in this case. How did Kylie end up in the hatch of her car? It would have been difficult to get out the windows, because water would have been gushing in, causing the car to sink even faster. However, one thing I can't wrap my head around is all the movement at the party. Even Kylie's friend, Elsa said she only left the party at one. How did all these party goers miss her car driving into the water? How probable is it that Kylie climbed into the hatch while the car was sinking and flipping upside down?